Have you ever felt like being in network marketing or direct sales wasn't a legitimate business opportunity? Or have any of your friends and family told you that being in network marketing is not a legitimate business opportunity? Hi, my name is Paula Ram and I help direct sellers grow their businesses without leaving home. And this is a huge thing um, because you're either in one of two camps, either A, you are in direct sales or network marketing or MLM and there's a little voice in the back of your head that is telling you this is not a legi legitimate business opportunity or you have friends and family who criticize you because they feel that you are not in a legitimate business opportunity. So I just had to come on and address that today because this is the elephant in the room, right? Let's talk about this. Um, I think direct sales, network marketing is a great way to get into business. It's a great way to provide for your family, a great way to build an income. The reason for this video came up when I saw a blogger that I highly respect. She wrote a great blog post on how to save money and with great money saving tips and frugality and I'm all for that and she said she's going to have a series coming up about how to build multiple streams of income with cottage industries and don't worry she's like I will not ask you to join an MLM this is going to be how to build uh, multiple streams of income with a legitimate business opportunity. Let's see, I'm going to read part of this. I think she actually may have changed this, but what it's currently saying on her website is we will never ask you to join an MLM. There are other legitimate work at home businesses that do not require you to build a downline to be successful, meet minimum requirements to stay in business, or give up such a big percentage of the profits you've worked hard for. Obviously, she just doesn't know, right? She's well-meaning. She doesn't want to lead anybody astray. And she has some bad information out there that has uh, made her bias towards direct sales or network marketing. And I totally, you know, a lot of this is warranted. For many years, people in MLM or network marketing have tried to build their businesses uh, the wrong way, a spammy way, a way that feels kind of icky, like you're using friends and family. Um, this has given network marketing a bad name. <laughs> this is what we're trying to, to change, right? I'm trying to change to, to to dump network marketing and direct sales on its end and do things a different way, the gentle and quiet way. So I'm going to address all of these, okay? Because these are this is just misinformation, and I get that because I I used to be one of those people who had a negative bias towards direct sales. I remember visiting this church once. And um, there was an old friend there and she was all friendly to me. And so I'm feeling like, oh, all right, someone is glad I'm here. <laughs> Someone's glad that I'm here. She's glad to see me. She was talking about having me over to her house, right? And I'm thinking, oh, this is great. She's inviting our family over to her house for a family dinner. This is, this is wonderful, right? And it turns out as the conversation continued that we were not actually being invited over to her house for a family dinner that it was actually a party, a home party she was having for her direct sales product. I was, I just was immediately um, deflated, immediately felt rejected, right, or used, right? Here, you know, it's kind of, a, it's kind of hard to visit a new church and then to have someone, you, you feel like maybe you're connecting and someone's glad you're there and then you find out they're just using you to, um, so you can buy their stuff, right? So that was really that was really rough. And it started like before that when I was a kid. I remember when friends under the guise of meeting up with my parents, right? Just to get together to, to discuss a business opportunity. And it ends up it was an MLM and it was a big kind of letdown, right? So, you know, direct sales, network marketing has kind of earned themselves a bad reputation because there are people in it who grow their businesses an icky, spammy, wrong way, right? And you, I, I'm here to tell you that there is a better way. You don't, you do not have to be like that. You do not have to run your business that way. You do not have to use your friends and family. That's probably a negative way to start. Let me get to the positive part. Direct sales 
network marketing is an amazing way to help your family. You absolutely can build an amazing business in direct sales or network marketing without using your friends and family. Absolutely can be done. It is an amazing opportunity. It's a great model for helping the average person build a business. Because you think about it, I mean, if you were to go into business on your own with your own product, first you have to have a product. So you have to develop a product and it could be a digital project product, right? But you have to have knowledge to be able to make that. Or it could be a physical product, but you're going to have to figure out how to manufacture that and then you have to ship it. Or if you're making it yourself, I know a lot of people who make like goat's milk soap. And I hear, <laughs> I have so many people who've joined my direct sales company who used to be goat, goat milk soap makers and sellers. First, they had to raise the goats to get the milk, right? <laughs> then they had to make the soap. And that's, it's not cheap to make soap, right? And then they had to sell the soap. So they would have to go to farmer's markets or they might sell online, right? That's their time. And then they had to pay to ship the soap, which is not cheap, right? So what was their profit margin? Their profit margin was very small per each bar of soap. And what was their time worth? How much time are they putting into each single bar of soap that they're having to sell, right? That's a lot of, it's a lot of time, a lot of money for very little payoff, very little payoff. A again, I have many people in my direct sales company who said, this is so much easier to sell this product. I don't have to make it. I don't have to ship it, right? I just have to sell it so much easier. It's so much easier for the average man or woman to get into business because the product is already provided for you. You don't have to think it up. You don't have to ship it. So it's a great way to get into business. And you know what? You don't have to stay in network marketing and direct sales because it is a great way to learn about entrepreneurship and develop those business skills. You learn a ton when you're in a direct sales company. You learn a ton about marketing, about selling, about customer service, about online marketing, all kinds of stuff. So then if you want to graduate after a few years into your own product, that would be an awesome thing to do. And I actually recommend that people brand themselves so that they can do that, right? You're not just promoting your company, but you, you're branding yourself. And one of the things you're doing is, is selling another company's products, but eventually you can go into selling your own products, okay? And by the time you're ready to do that, you have learned so many valuable skills basically for free. You didn't have to go to college to learn them. You just learned them through experience and through the great training that many of these companies offer. Okay, so if you're wanting to get into business for yourself with your own product, a lot of times the best path to that is to join a direct sales or network marketing company because just for the vast amount of knowledge and experience you will get through that. And then when you go and move on to your own product, you can avoid a ton of mistakes and you will know much better what to do and what works and what doesn't. So it's a, it's a great way to get started in business and everyone can do it. I mean, really direct sales and network marketing, it just helps so many families. I, I mean, if I were to write down all of the stories I've heard from people in direct sales and network marketing and how it's helped their families, I mean, you would just be amazed, right? If these people hadn't joined their companies, right? I mean, I hear people, right, they, they can help make their car payment. They can go on a vacation when they hadn't been able to for years with their family. They can finally sign up their kids for homeschool co-op that they haven't been able to afford before or buy books, right? Direct sales is the potential to change your life and your family's life. And I have seen that firsthand. I mean, I have been blown away by the success stories and how it is helping families. So for the people who say that it is not a legitimate way to earn money for your family, that nobody's making money in it, that's just simply not true. That's just simply false, right? And if you just look at the strict um, stats for network marketing and you can see people like, oh, this many people, you know, have, have made zero or this many people have made, you know, five bucks, right? 
You know what those stats are relying on are the people who just join to get the discount. There's so many people who join these companies just because they want to earn a discount on their own product, which is perfectly fine, right? But of course, that kind of skews the results for how many people are actually earning money. So what is a better um, metric to look at is of how many people who have joined with the intent of actually making it a real business and actually growing a business with this method are making money. That is a much better way to measure things, right? And then you'll find there's a much higher success rate if you think of it that way and not the people who just join for the discount. Okay, so let's talk about um, the comment, right, where people think that you have to give up a big percentage of the profits you've worked hard for. This is where you have to evaluate. If you're thinking about joining a company, evaluate, look at their compensation plan. There are companies with great compensation plans and companies with bad compensation plans, right? And it is not a reflection of the industry as a whole. It's a reflection of that individual company. That's why you have to evaluate individual companies. And you need to see what the commission rate is for just selling product retail to outside customers alone. Buy, sell, buy, sell. That's the, the, if you dumb down the whole thing of business, business is just buying and selling, right? Buying and selling. Okay, so that's just what direct sales or network marketing is, is you're, you're buying or you have a product and you're reselling. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got a decent commission rate that the difference between wholesale and retail is enough so that you can build a successful business with this company if all you did was sell retail. If you didn't enroll a single person in your downline, which is what the second thing in this uh, thing by this blogger was, right? That do not require you to build a downline to be successful. You can totally be successful with many companies simply by selling retail, reselling products, just like you would if you were selling your goat's milk soap. It costs you a certain amount to make your, your bar of soap, and then you sell it for the retail amount. The, the amount in between is your profit. Same thing, okay? Same thing in direct sales. In my company, you can make up to 50%, all right? So if you were to go find a product, sell it on Amazon or at your farmer's market or make it, could you sell it for twice the amount that costs you to make it? right? I think that's a pretty good profit margin that you can double the, 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 your cost, right? You can buy something for a dollar and sell it for two dollars, right? And this is, this can absolutely be done in many direct sales companies, right? But again, it's, it's, it dep it's different for each company. So that's why you've got to check out their stats before you join and see what can you make if you don't enroll a single person and you just sell retail to outside customers. And if outside customers aren't interested in buying that product, maybe it's not a good product, right? You got to make sure it's a good product that people want, right? That it's not overpriced. That it's not something they can go out to Target and buy at a better price, right? You want something unique and that's at a good price. Then you can get outside customers. That's, that's a clue that it's a great product. If you're getting outside customers, who want to buy, who love the product. That's a good sign as well. Okay, so so then the downline, um, people joining your team to earn extra money, right? That's then bonus, that's icing on the cake. That should be icing on the cake. And it is true that you can totally multiply your income by building a team, but that shouldn't be the primary thing. The primary thing is, is this a great product that people want and can I earn money just by selling this to happy customers? So again, every company is different. What was our thing she was talking about? Oh, meet minimum requirements to stay in business. Again, this just varies from company to company. Some companies do have quite a large requirement to stay in business. And some really don't. <laughs> some have almost or basically no requirement to stay in business, right? So again, you just have to look at that when choosing what company you want to join and make sure they don't have this huge requirement that would put pressure on you that you feel like you can't meet. Okay, so that's just comparing companies, okay? 
um, it's not a reflection on network marketing as a whole. I think her original post talked about that you don't have to bug friends and family about. So I think she must have gotten some kickback about that <laughs> because I don't see it in her original blog post now. But I'm pretty sure it was there before that you don't have to join an MLM that would cause you to have to bug friends and family to join your team. And this is a big thing. And this, again, is a bad rap that network marketing has. And for good reason, right? We have people in there who turn, turn people off of MLM because of the way they have pushed it, right? Um, not been totally honest, right? Um, pretending to be your friend and really all they want you to do is join their team, right? So you don't, this is not necessary. It's absolutely not necessary for network marketing and direct sales. You don't have to, to build your team that way. Right? And a big thing that's being promoted now, like on Facebook, is to friend a lot of people, join groups, friend a lot of people on Facebook so that you can message them and, again, pretend to be their friend, be, pretend to be interested in them, but then you're like, hey, would you be open to this opportunity? Right. So, again, it's just like having an ulterior motive and it's things like that that give network marketing a bad name. Right. So stop it. <laughs> You don't have to do it, right? You absolutely don't have to do it. And a better way is to not, not at first of all, not ask friends or family at all in the first place to buy your stuff or join your team, but go find strangers. And I don't mean by joining Facebook groups and PMing strangers. I mean a better way of collaborating with influencers. Find influence. There are tons of influencers out there. Influencers are people who have large followings, right? They may be a blogger. They may be a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, a Facebook group owner. They may be a small business owner with just, that just has a great email list, right? Somebody who has influence, who, who, they're, who they have a lot of followers that trust their advice, okay? So if you can connect with one of these influencers and they love your product and they recommend it to their followers in a genuine manner, right? They will not recommend your product if they don't like it, right? They'll just, they'll politely decline, right? But if they like your product, they will promote it for you. They will recommend their followers that they buy your product, right? And that's and then you're only having people who are interested in your product and like your product to actually buy your product. And that's the only that's the only type of customer I want. I do not want anybody, any friend or family member to buy my product out of obligation. They're like, oh, Paula, well, since she's my sister-in-law or since she's my high school friend, I guess I should buy something from her because I kind of feel obligated to, right? I don't want any, but I don't want you to buy my product unless you really love it. And not everybody loves it and that's okay, right? So this, by working with influencers, right? And they, they show the product, they review the product, they demonstrate the product. The people who buy are only the ones who want to buy the product, right? So this is a much, much better way to get sales for your direct sales company. And once you get these people buying your product, they try your product, they love your product, then it's a no brainer for them to join your team. And that's how you grow your team. People will join your team, they'll want to sell it because they love the product. And big thing here, they not just because they love the product, but they will see how how you sold it with without any um, dishonesty without any using friends and family, right? And just such an easy, no pressure way, right? You work with an influencer who said, hey, this is a great product, right? Here's the way to buy it if you want it, right? And then only those who are interested buy it, right? So they, they see that and they think, hey, I can do that, right? I can actually, I can see myself building a business that way, right? Because I'm not using friends and family, right? I can do that. So that's a great way to grow your team. So I hope you see that you do not have to run your direct sales or network marketing business the way that, that has given it a bad name, right? Let's admit that it does have a bad reputation, but we can change that. We can change that, right? Don't be a part of it. Don't be a part of those things that turn people off of direct sales, right? Be a part of a new and better way, right? A new gentle and quiet way of um, building your business. But um, if we could just totally do this and give direct sales and network marketing a better reputation, this would be a much better world, right? 
and we wouldn't have people like these um, this friend right who wrote this blog post saying that there are better ways to build a business than MLM you know there's a, no oh, legitimate right there are legitimate ways to run a business insinuating that direct sales or network marketing is not a legitimate way to build a business right and that's absolutely not true right so we needed to change the reputation of the, the MLM industry so that that people don't have that feeling anymore that icky feeling towards network marketing right there's a much better way a very legitimate way that helps many many families I have seen it help many families right there can be great profit margins um, happy customers and it is a totally legitimate awesome way to build an income for your family yeah I just had to come on and say all that because when I read stuff like that it really gets me riled up right <laughs> like it gets you know I feel bad that people have that that picture of what network marketing is and the people that that's the way everybody is and that's not the way everybody is and it's not the way we have to be right so if you are interested in building your business the gentle and quiet way without bugging friends and family um, please just to grab my uh, free influencer marketing quick start guide that gives you an overview of what influencer marketing all entails and you can see if it's a good fit for you and I think it would be will be a good fit for you but you can see right and uh, see if you want to learn more about it because I personally think it's a great way to build your business legitimately to, to only those who love your product and want to buy your product and the only people who want to join your team will join your team but that you can still earn a great income if you just sell the product alone and not even have anybody join your team okay so let's uh, yeah let's just do things a different way and change the reputation of this industry so I hope you'll grab the guide below and I will be seeing you next time all right bye guys